this is something we as you told uh, this is something we uh, lack uh, the insight because we talk of great science we 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 talk of uh, uh, the uh, newer drugs we talk of technology but our own old uh, way uh, of uh, dealing with the problems the, uh, the 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 spirituality the mental health and the psychological approach at times we miss so uh, we thought of this diabetes and mental health uh, session and here uh, it's 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 the time is very less and i'll be uh, sticking to 15 minutes to uh, speak on this very important topic of spiritual approach to diabetes care uh, my slides are visible uh my slides are visible uh, pubi look yes. is visible. visible and full screen please sure. continue sir sure. so uh, the the most important yes thing, sir uh, yeah the, the the most important thing comes uh, man is not body only uh, we see the man as a composition of uh, uh, mind uh, body uh, soul and uh, and and the higher functions and those who are spiritually enlightened they know the control over the body control over our vital control over our happenings uh, happens to take place from the higher control so say it be a disease treatment say it be a performance say it be a living when it's into a higher consciousness it it's all the the, the higher functions the control mother of shivananda ashram told it's finally faith that heals so if somebody believes that he'll be cured if somebody believes that the win is his and he can control his body he can achieve it so more, more than drugs more than the insulin more than the interventions more than the surgeries the faith the mind the soul works and we have to incorporate it to our plan if we want all round success of the treatment so the impact of spiritual belief and the faith based interventions on the diabetes management when i browse the literature i saw a lot of publication of faith based uh, interventions where the very important issues of prayers scripture reading goal setting community resource guide and walking competitions had achieved fit body and the fit soul and then, and then it's not only in india in all spiritual beliefs in all religions in all ways of life in all races and the caste this is dwelling and if you will see the the the, the very important uh issue of spiritual health the the uh, who itself defines health as physical mental social and spiritual well being we focus on the body mostly some extend to the mind but we forget about the spiritual health and diabetes is often an insidious disease and it's a chronic disease it's a lifelong disease rather it's a lifestyle rather it's a syndrome i i, I support dr sudash Uh, view that it, it's rather a syndrome than a disease, and we have to practice lifestyle more than the issues related to drugs, insulin, or the complications. And the more important things come that when we think of a diabetes, it's not only a syndrome of hyperglycemia, syndrome of insulin resistance, and beta cell dysfunction. Not only it's a combination of acute and chronic complications. long term illness but there are so many things which are there to intervene in the uh, form of lifestyle modification the diet the exercise the yoga the prayers the meditation the addictions the sleep the uh, screen time so uh, it it's more more or less a, a disease with lifestyle disorder and which can be corrected and there cannot be any better rider than the lifestyle modification to control the diabetes issues and 
This is the most important slide of my presentation. If you see the Beda Upanishad and the description of spiritual bodies, it's, it, it's all physical, vital, mental, psychic, and supramental consciousness. So we stay at physical, somewhat vital, and mental. We don't go to psychic and supramental. If you go further, mind has a great strength which can be explored in healing the diseases. And we have to target that highest power, the highest strength in controlling this disease. We know the obesity is the root problem where the insulin resistance sets in and, and all metabolic problems, the diabetes, hypertension, the uh, hyperuricemia, hypothyroid to cancer and depression, everything sets in. But the more important that is our spiritual strength and our health in chronic illness. So spirituality is a multidimensional aspect of people's life. And the religiousness and spirituality have been examined as factor related to improved glycemic control. So the difference between spirituality and religion is more individualistic and self-determined. And if we stay in a different consciousness, we know our own self. We know our not. We are not body. We are we are the consciousness, and we can direct the body to the interest for the food, interest for the sex. Interest for the worldly happenings may not stay because uh, we ourselves can stay different from the physical body, mind and the vitals and regulate its function to attain the very best every day, every moment. And that can ultimately help us for a proper living, proper thinking and good blood glucose control. The, and then the spirituality is a sense of meaning in the suffering, bringing people with chronic health condition, the process of transformation. The, we have to help them know their strength through the finding the inner self and achieving the well-being, making spirituality an integral part of the holistic care. That's how, what is preached as the spiritual health and the aim of the WHO meaning of the spiritual health, the, 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 the end here. So uh, we promote yoga, but if you go to the deeper sense of the yoga, it's, it's breath control or the pranayam, it's meditation, it's a sense of surrender without thinking that I am doing that or the ego, uh, it, it's all surrender and the spiritual lifestyle. And the physical yoga, which India preaches since long, it also scientifically helps improving symptoms that the, 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 uh, 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 the capacity to uh, excel, inhale, and the breath control. It lowers the body weight and the lipids, reduces stress, blood pressure, and the oxygen demand, reducing cardiac load, and alters the central autonomic activity, improves the endothelial function, and coronary atherosclerosis is retarded. This is scientifically proved that yoga does this. So we, we need not be limited in the physical level. If we come to meditation, Swami Vivekananda told once, you must clean your body and mind daily. You clean body by taking a bath and clean mind by a short span of meditation. If you practice meditation, you pure your thoughts and you, you, you filter your approach and you know that you are not the body you are the soul and you can see your body, see your mind, see your vitals functioning, regulate them for the better cause and control the disease, disease lifestyle much better than any other drug or insulin or the intervention. So the blood pressure control, the sleep control, the, the weight management, the hormonal control, the stress management, the vitals and the uh, vessel metabolic rate, all are affected by yoga and meditation. It's proved beyond doubt. And if you we'll see sleep right, if you we'll think right, we, if we meditate in time and all our vital uh, issues, they remain under control and we can participate very well in the management. And that part of the individual participation, we are unable to revoke in our patients. So if we'll put this as a part, and ask our educator, ask our counselor to talk about this aspect of managing themselves. Definitely, 
the spiritual health, the spiritual way of managing diabetes will help us a long and we cannot just miss this in a management plan in a chronic lifelong disease. So if we'll see the spirituality and mental health, the people with certain common conditions like cardiovascular disease and diabetes, disproportionately high rate of depression. Because when you tell that you have a disease which needs lifelong treatment, the person becomes stressed, mental and physical health problem creeps in. And, then, and if the person knows that he is not the body and the present body in which he resides is suffering from the disease and his duty is to order the body to behave properly, definitely he is not much stressed and he can do that responsibility much well. And uh, spirituality may also contribute to psychosocial adjustment to the disease with poor prognosis and both those who are aff afflicted and their caregivers. If they keep a sense of surrender and take a approach to moderate their own uh, approach to the disease, may it be food, may it be exercise, may it be lifestyle. For many people, the chronic illness, uh, the, 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 the associated fear, anxiety, and the disruption and, and, and the depression thereof goes away and person becomes very confident of managing themselves. And you know the food pyramid and, and this uh, uh, strict implementation, controlling your test boards, controlling your tongue and then regulating yourself in the right direction is possible once you have a good control over your mind, over your body and over your likings and dislikings. And then and this all plan of taking more vegetables, more fruits, whole grains and the healthy proteins with water and the healthy oils, what we preach for years and fail to implement is possible once the person knows that he has to regulate himself and his body needs to be regulated to live for 100 years in a proper manner once he is diagnosed. In type 1 diabetes, it becomes more important because longer they fight with the disease. Type 2, almost half of the year of type 1, they suffer. So from the beginning, in the counseling, like we talk uh, the food care, like we talk the hypoglycemia and weight management, we should talk the spirituality where uh, the person should uh, live in, where he should approach the different issues related to the physical, vital, and the mental being. The empirical results of impact of spiritual beliefs in the diabetes management by different authors I have quoted. This is, this is from the literature I have taken, the different studies which show the positive relationship of religious and spirituality, improving management, and, 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 and uh, not, it, not only in Hinduism, in the, in the Christianity, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the different uh, religious groups, we, we get this. And, and then this, all the authors have concluded the spiritual aspects of the care in the chronic Muslim patients as well. And then the, the Buddhist group have, have proved. And then starting from the younger to the older population, starting from the men to women, everywhere, we have got very good impact of the spirituality in daily diabetes control. So uh, these studies show the neglecting diabetes or the, the, the different uh, uh, complications uh, are reduced once the person is conscious and, and, and uh, approaching the problem in a positive way helps them to control the problem. So worldwide, all the studies who have incorporated spiritual in a cross-sectional study or a qualitative study conducted have contributed immensely. The final uh, slides are uh, targeted the stress. The, the, the stress is immense starting from a kindergarten student to the uh, officer in chair, especially in the COVID era, especially in this uh, era of uh, the scientific developments and, and high aspiration people uh, take a lot of stress in daily day life and if they want to tackle their stress well uh, realize their own uh, self uh, coping with emotions problem solving decision making creative and critical thinking empathy self awareness interpersonal relation effective communication and humor only thing they have to be helped is by spirituality and we know 
uh, at the low uh, level of stress we cannot perform we'll just go to sleep the high level will be disorganized cannot perform the optimal stress will perform and you know the gita and and yukta hara biharasya a balanced life has tita pragya always preaches the right approach to life which we can achieve by spirituality so uh, the good for good diabetes control we need a step that control a physical activity a blood pressure control cholesterol control weight control regular medications and monitoring of the parameter possible through a balanced personality who is not disturbed and that is possible through a spiritual touch only the lay models of the beliefs and spirituality i'm not going to the details they have taken the different groups and 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 the impact is immense the social support increased well being the the external strength the 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 the, the positive effects are immense in our patient the last slide i want to touch upon uh, the role of spirituality in chronic conditions all diabetes and related complications the the the, the coping the support the acceptance the healing all together lead to health and subjective well being and influence on treatment and the condition perceived and the clinical health improvement and greater resilience so uh, i'm happy i'll be happy to take up questions related and whatever things i went through the spiritual the the, the scientific the research the yogic and the different publications we uh, concluded that the human being is not only the body or the mind there is a higher self and as i told the physical the vital the mental the psychic and the supramental consciousness are all included in a person's personality and it it is so powerful if you want that i'll be healthy you'll be healthy and you can directly monitor the lifestyle the physical activity the vital activity and the mental activity such a huge force for the huge strength we are missing by not invoking the spirituality at the beginning of the treating of a diabetic patient so along with all science technology drugs insulin and the approach i suggest my colleagues and the uh, scientific world let us not forget something as old which has given us results and remember at the point of starting the treatment to invoke spirituality to make the person himself involved and tell him how he can do the regular practices and stay healthy thank you again for the invitation thank you for the uh, time and i'll be happy uh, to be part of the panel